What is going on Vegan Food Explorers? It is Easter Sunday, a special day, and how do we start Sunday, Easter Sunday? Amazing, as vegans, we're gonna have many fry up, and we've got, <clears throat> fresh off the bat, this isn't streaky bacon. Not just their regular bacon, but the streaky bacon. I've never actually had it. I've seen it in the supermarket loads, and I just had to have it. So we've got this. Hello, just FYI, you might not be able to tell the difference between this product and bacon. Pretty cool. So very excited to have that. These were £2.75 on offer. I think they're 3 75 so £2.75, much, much better. And they say low in fat, so two rashers is just 0.7 grams of fat. That's actually outrageous. That must be less than um, the meat versions. We'll check that in a second. And then we have as well, the frozen, this isn't pork sausages. And these are £2.50 on offer as well. Um, and these are, yeah, I've had the regular ones in non-frozen, so I'm excited to see what the frozen like ones are like. Just checking against Sainsbury's Taste the Difference streaky bacon made from dead pigs. That had over 23 grams of fat per 100 grams. And these, per 100 grams, 2.9, <laughs> so almost 10 times less fat than pork streaky bacon. So the big question, I mean, that's fantastic, but the big question is, does this still taste good? Because we know that fat can make things taste absolutely delicious. I want less fat, but it's got to taste good. So let's find out. We know what we're going to do. We fired up the grill. Let's get cooking. Okay, it is popping in the Vegan Food Explorer household. We've got the station, we've got to pick up your bagel, then you move on to your sausages. I was really impressed with how these cooked up. They taste apps, well, I haven't tried them yet, but they smell absolutely delicious, grilled. Then the bacon, bacon I found absolutely, really difficult to peel apart in the pack. So I'm hoping it tastes good, but I couldn't tell if it was supposed to be double bit or not double bit. And then we've got these, which are actually some last minute additions. Um, and these were cauliflower hash browns from Strong Roots. So, looking forward to, to trying those. That's actually supposed to be cauliflower down the side. It looks very strange. Um, and then we got the obligatory cup of tea here. We're using New York Bakery. And also I tried this new Fry Light, it's spray, spray, because I'm trying to reduce the amount of fat, so it just sprays. And then we've got a last minute addition here from our little helper. It's gonna be Leon Alioli garlic. Nothing artificial, basically alio garlic mayo. So there it is, let's go. Let's start with the sausage. And then we'll work up to the main event of the bacon. So this is the sausage, this is the, this isn't pork sausages. So they did, excuse me, they did have some like herby ones, but we've gone with these. You see the windows open, we had a bit of a smoke explosion, but we're surviving. So I was super impressed with how these cooked. I, I was actually amazed when I pulled them out, it looked just like, pork sausages. And I used to eat a lot of pork sausages with my friends, my family, I know exactly what they're supposed to look like. And these, these remind me of like butcher's sausages almost, you know, a bit bigger, plumper, more meaty than your supermarket ones. So let's go in for the bite. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, actually, even though they haven't as, aren't marketed as having herby bits, they taste really herby, really deep flavour there. The casing is absolutely perfect. The meatiness, I would say is, I'd say it's perfect. I'd say it's perfect that like you would never know. And then the flavor, it's got that deep meaty flavor, but then it's also got that really deep, delicious herbiness, really delicious. Mm. The texture is amazing. We're having thumbs up out of the camera. Really delicious, really, really delicious. What's the fat content in these? Per 100 grams, yeah, much more. So it's 12.8 grams, but only 1.9 grams of saturated fat, which the reason why I keep bringing it up is because bacon and sausages are infamous being really high fat. So I'm interested to see how the, the, the vegan versions work. So yeah, the cooking of it is absolutely amazing. This is incredible. It's got that kind of singe mark from the grill. I'm really impressed with these. I'd say these were, <laughs> the thing I always laugh at is when actually most people eat meat, they're eating super disgusting factory farmed meat and and actually 
this this vegan meat tastes so much better, so, so much better. Like this to me tastes like some of the best sausages I've ever had as a non-vegan. Um, so really, really impressive. And if you go to a barbecue, you'll find they've got these just awful, awful, you know, meat sausages are horrible anyway, but actually from, if you're just looking at it from a flavor point of view, the vegan ones almost always knock the park, knock it out of the park, including like the Beyond Burgers. We recently went to a barbecue and our friends had these just, they just so awful meat burgers. They just looked horrible. And we had these incredible Beyond Burgers. So not only is there all of the cruelty kind of option there, which just makes them so much better, even if they weren't tasting great, you'd still want to go with the vegan option. But the flavour is better. It's so much better. And now with the, in my opinion, of course, and then in the, with the this isn't, um, the, the bacon, the fat content is now super low. So anyway, that's the sausages. Let's go for the bacon. Like I said, I found it really strange. I couldn't hardly pull them apart. And I wasn't sure. It almost looked like they were, you think they were just strips layered next to each other on half, like, you know, half on, half off, like a layer up. But it was really strange. It was like, I wasn't sure if there were two layers and I peeled one off and it was like just these tiny strands. So in the end, I just plonked it all in there. Um, so I've cooked it all. I'm gonna kind of do it with my fingers. So you can see here, the smell was really nice actually when it was cooking. It's gone a bit crispy. Let's go in for the taste. Mm. Yeah, I would say, if I'm really honest, I'm not impressed with these. I am more impressed with these than any other vegan bacon I've ever had, but I'm going to be honest, that's not saying much. The highlights of this is probably the um, the fat here. Very impressed with that. Actually. It tastes really realistic, this kind of layer of fat that you'd have there. The bacon itself, it has a light bacon taste, but the texture is just all, it's either too soft or it's really hard. No, I'm not impressed with these at, at all, actually. I'm, I'm, quite, I'm actually, I would actually say, I'm actually quite disappointed. I'm an absolutely massive This Isn't fan. I love, I adore their branding. I adore their messaging. I adore their sausages. And I like their regular bacon. But this is a bit off the mark for me. I think for a vegan, it probably would do the job. I'm going to really enjoy having it in a sandwich now with cut up sausage and the bacon just on the top. But compared to the sausage, you have to compare it to things like the sausage. The sausage is, would you know, would, in my opinion, would trick anybody, anybody that it is, that tastes like a meat sausage. But the bacon, I mean, that to me, if you served it up to a, a non-vegan, you're really trying to sell the lifestyle, I think they'd be put off, if I'm honest. The sausages, they'd be absolutely on board and be like, wow, when can I go vegan? But they're almost, they're, you know, they're getting there. We have to have these products out there to get better, to hear feedback, to have that cyclical um, product development to make it better. So hats off to them for trying. And for vegans who are 100% committed, I think it's worth trying. It will, it will itch that, that scratch a little bit. Uh, and it's just fun, isn't it? But I've got to say, texture is the biggest thing. However, I would say it still does have that kind of fatty taste. And the best bit was the fat. So for the low fat, I'm very, very impressed. But I think they really need to... Just go a bit back to the drawing board here and just work on it. And I, and I definitely think you can tell the difference between this product and bacon, unfortunately. But this isn't one of my favourite vegan brands at the moment. The sausages, this is, a, this is an 11 out of 10. I actually think this might be the most realistic and most delicious vegan product out there. Let's hope they can bring the, the streaky bacon up to scan standard. Thanks for watching. I've now got to go for my Easter breakfast. I'm absolutely looking forward to it. I'm going to pick up more on the sausages. I hope you're having a fantastic time. Let me know down in the comments what you're having for Easter breakfast, if you've had anything fun, what you're having for Easter lunch. And of course, we'll see you in the next video.